today we will be testing the dynamic linear regression channels but before we do if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that you need to go do that now here at the academy of forex we are building the best trading system possible as a team there is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators we also would like to introduce our patreon exclusive discord channel as a nine dollar patreon you will be invited to join an exclusive discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the mt platform give you winning strategies post trade ideas give advanced advice and much more so click the link below to join our patreon all right as i said today we will be testing the dynamic linear regression channels before we do though i wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see so to date we have tested a total of 64 different strategies with 16 of them being profitable We've also tested a total of 831 indicators with 338 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We have also retested in the advanced testing 39 of the winning indicators. 11 of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best one, a 76% win rate. Now, keep in mind that we test most of the strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. Okay, so today we are testing the dynamic linear regression channels, and you can see them here on screen. And so uh, the uh, linear regression channel is an interesting indicator. And so uh, basically the standard linear regression channel or uh, linear regression indicator, uh, what it will do is it will just maintain a uh, channel and that channel will kind of adapt and move and uh, kind of change its uh, direction and what way it's facing depending on uh, kind of what price action is doing and how trend is changing. In this particular case, what uh, this indicator is doing is it is creating a, a linear regression channel and then as that channel is being broken to one side or another, uh, or I guess I should say to uh, uh, to the up or the down, not necessarily from one side to another, then it is uh, starting a new uh, channel and forming a new channel. And then it just kind of keeps repeating that process. So typically with the linear regression channel, you can trade it one of two ways. Uh, there is a range uh, trading that you can do with the channel. And so basically what you're using is the uh, bottom line and the top line as a uh, support and resistance. And so um, as price is uh, kind of bouncing within this channel, you can take trades um, as it reaches the upper line, the upper part of the channel. You can short against that or as it comes down and bounces off the bottom of the channel, you can take a long trade off of that and you can kind of play the range. Uh, the other way that you can uh, generally trade channels is to look for a breakout of the channel. And so uh, these channels form here and kind of create uh, different uh, kind of uh, flag patterns and uh, different uh, kind of channel 
or wedge patterns in general. And those are typically, uh, you will look for a breakout of that range or that flag or the wedge as a um, kind of a momentum, uh, a sign of momentum in one direction or another. And so in this particular case, what we're gonna do is we are going to look for the breakout to either the downside or the upside of these channels as it's uh, starting to form a new channel. And that will be our uh, signal to go either long or short. So if it breaks out to the downside, it's a signal to go short. If it breaks out to the upside, that's a signal to go long. So let's go ahead and play it forward here and take a look and uh, we'll uh, start the testing and like I said, just kind of watch as this forms the first time. So you can kind of see what it is that we're looking for. All right, so you can see right here, the channel was forming and riding along with the price action. And now you can see on the spike of this candle right here, it is no longer riding with this candle. It's kind of formed this area right here from this candle to this candle. And now it has stopped forming a new channel here, stopped kind of adapting this channel to price action. And it's going to pick up and start forming a new channel. And so this is a breakout to the upside here. So this here is going to be a long signal right there. So let's go ahead and play this forward. All right, so you can see that we get a little bit of consolidation and then we get a nice push to the upside, which gets us to our take profit as this new channel is now starting to form. And we're just gonna continue this process. We're gonna continue forward and look for it to break either to the downside or the upside, just like it did here. That's gonna be a short or a long. All right, so that's going to put us at the end of the year right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve over the one year of testing, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Discord server. This is our Discord server here. It is free to join. Most of the channels here are free. You're welcome to join and take part of the con uh, take part of the conversations, uh, taking part in most of these channels here. But we do have a Patreon only channel set up just for our patrons to take advantage of some great advanced information that we're putting out for everyone to see. Uh, for example, uh, one of our members here, Sasquatch, is an awesome Forex prop trader, putting up charts like this on a regular basis, where he's marked out areas of support and resistance, areas of interest where he is looking to take trades. Uh, here are some of our other members also posting charts of uh, trades that they have been taking. So here's another chart from Sasquatch. Posting charts like this, like I said, on a regular basis, doing Forex market analysis. Then, like I said, we have some of our other members here that are also uh, kind of showing us the trades that they have taken or trades that they are interested in taking and just kind of documenting their progress as they move along. Mike from Upright Trading is one of our newest admins doing a great job of helping, uh, helping everybody out. Uh, giving recommendations on indicators that can be used. Also uh, outlining how people can utilize his indicators. He's got quite a few indicators that he's developed himself. He's got some free ones and some pay, uh, paid ones. They do really well. And some of our members uh, uh, like, uh, like Lion Trader here is uh, explaining how he is using one of uh, one of Mike's indicators here and how it's doing a really great job. And he's uh, just plugging away, taking some really good trades with Mike's indicators. And so just all in all, it's a really great group of people. Everybody's helping everybody out, supporting everybody and helping everybody grow as traders. Highly recommend it. All right, back to our indicator here. So let's go ahead and get this in focus here. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and count this out and see what we got. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have twelve trades all together, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 
eight winning trades. And so that's barely going to put us over that 60% criteria that we are looking for, but over uh, the 60% nonetheless. And so all in all, a really interesting indicator gives 12 trades within the one year's time. And so that's uh, definitely a decent number of trades. Seemed like it was catching uh, the uh, trend change rather well. Uh, every time we got kind of a spike in one direction or another, it seemed to pick up on that uh, relatively quickly and even some of the trades that were losing trades uh, ultimately went in the correct direction uh, that the indicator was kind of showing not all of them but some of them uh, and so yeah just all in all not a bad indicator at all I like this approach to the linear regression uh, rather than having uh, just a set linear regression uh, one that's just uh, forever adapting to the market Kind of like the way this one uh, splits it down into small little chunks, really giving you uh, those uh, very specific channels and wedges that you can play off of. And so, like I said, all in all, really cool. Uh, this one is going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here.